good news is we've finished pre-season rolling, so hopefully pitches are now nice and flat and hard. Uh, on, on both squares we've done uh, 18 passes. Uh, a pass on the little square takes about half an hour, so this has had about nine hours rolling. So you can see she's looking a little bit pale today, because we only finished pre-season rolling last Friday. But she's had a good feed and hopefully within the next couple of weeks we'll return to its normal wonderful green colour. Okay, so we're now standing on the main square at the Oval. Um, I'm standing on probably what will be, God willing, uh, the pitch when Suffolk play Kent. So a bit like the small square, we've, we've completed all the pre-season rolling. So this has taken about 20 hours um, to, to complete all the pre-season rolling and that's now done. So I must confess a few chilly days sitting on the roller contemplating life. Go. And again, our work now over the next couple of months is to keep on top of this, um, making sure all the kind of normal husbandry carries on, so that the base that we've created is there for when we're ready to play cricket. Hi guys, uh, my name is Nathan Scarf, uh, as most people know me, Scarfy, um, and I am the newly appointed second team captain and uh, lead coach of the under seven brass scores at Copdoc. I think the thing I was most looking forward to this season was actually leading the team out. Uh, it's a it's a new challenge for me. Um, I've been at the club for f four or five years now, and uh, I was really looking forward to taking on the opportunity of leading the twos this season. Uh, and hopefully, I'll get the chance uh, to to lead the team out soon. Uh, I think growing up was Ian Bell, He's just an elegant cricketer. I always loved watching him bat, um, especially watching him in the Ashes. Uh, I remember a hundred he got again in in 2015. Um, just just a, a brilliant batter. I actually think it's Joffrey Archer. I was lucky enough to go and watch England play Pakistan at Trent Bridge. Unfortunately, we lost, but um, just watching Joffrey Archer bowl, he bowls thunderbolts, and I don't think you really appreciate it until you watch him live, and we were, we were lucky enough to be side on, and, and it's just effortless. Um, I'd say the 2005 Ashes. I remember coming in from school, sticking Channel 4 on, uh, watching the evening play, um, but I'd say that's my, my earliest memory. Uh, I'd actually say probably making my Premier League debut. Um, it came at a bit of a surprise, um, but making my debut for um, in the Premier League for Copdoc, away uh, to Vauxhall Mallards, which is the other side of the world, um, was a very proud moment for me. Um, and also receiving my first team cap from from Pidge um, was was a very proud moment for me. So my favourite thing about Cop Doc, um, the people. Um, I remember joining, being quite nervous, just joining a new team, and uh, the, the the lads were very very welcoming. Um, I've, I've played for the first, the seconds, and the thirds, um, and I've I've enjoyed every single minute of it. Um, and Sunday mornings at Cop Doc um, is what we're known for, and uh, giving the rascals, the under sevens, their first sort of experience of cricket um, is something that. I, I love doing and hopefully give them a positive insight into cricket and make them want to carry on and progress all the way through hopefully to the first team so yeah cop dog is a great place to be good news is it's Andrew Flintoff coming into the attack there was that scare when he was batting He's staring hard at that ball all over the place. Danny Walker bowled in. That is out. Great theatre. Magnificent drama. Flintoff at his very best.